It's, it's from like last year, from 2023. Yeah. yeah. There ain't no way. I don't know how you make Pro Bowl, All Pro, and you're not a top 100 guy. That's, I mean, I could have been 101, I guess. But Aaron Rodgers didn't even play in the season. He was voted. So, I mean, hey. Everybody made mistakes. It ain't just the media that do it. The players, clearly, if they voted for this, they made some mistakes. But it is what it is. I mean, in the day, I know, I know, I know the truth, and it's okay. I got, I got some more for him. Jalen Johnson is fired up, and he's got good reason. The NFL's top 100 list on NFL.com managed to rile up the Chicago Bears cornerback, even though it was his fellow players who cast the votes. Despite bagging a contract extension, being pro football focus's top cornerback last year, and making the second team all pro as well as the Pro Bowl, Johnson was mysteriously absent from the list. That's Bull Johnson declared, not mincing words. Point blank period, there's no way that there's 100 guys better, especially if we're going by the season. Is it by the season, or is it just by names? Is it the top 100 names in the league? How do you guys know how it goes? What is it? Even when informed that the media wasn't to blame, Johnson's frustration didn't wane. It's bull, he reiterated. There ain't no way. I don't know how you make Pro Bowl, all pro and not a top 100 guy. I could have been 101, I guess. But Aaron Rodgers didn't even play much last season and he was voted. Johnson didn't shy away from throwing shade at the players who voted. I mean, hey, everybody makes mistakes, it's not just the media. Players clearly made some mistakes, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, I know the truth, and it's all right. I got some more for him. The perceived snub clearly felt like a sign of disrespect to Johnson. 100% it's disrespectful, he said. Receivers know they can't say I'm not one of the best they play against. So, whatever it is, it happened. Seeing it, there's no way there are 100 guys better especially those who didn't play a full season. Ain't no way. Wide receiver DJ Moore also found himself omitted from the list, despite finishing sixth in receiving yards last year and securing a contract extension averaging over 27 million annually. Meanwhile, Bears teammates Keenan Allen and Montez Sweat made the cut at 51st and 82nd respectively. If it's any consolation, those same voters somehow ranked three players ahead of Patrick Mahomes. One thing Chicago Bears fans have learned about Jalon Johnson since his arrival in 2020 is his immense belief in his abilities. Last season, he proved his worth by snagging four interceptions and boasting a passer rating of 50.9. He earned his first Pro Bowl nod and made the second team All-Pro. Yet, his exclusion from the top 100 list feels like a slap in the face, especially when names like Aaron Rodgers and Cooper Cup made it despite missing several games. Johnson's ire is understandable. He's just as good, if not better, than many players who made the list. The snub serves as a stark reminder of how underappreciated he is by the national scene. Perhaps it's a consequence of playing on underperforming teams. Johnson has yet to experience a winning season in Chicago, and great performances often get overlooked in such contexts, just asked Matthew Stafford during his Detroit days. One thing is clear, Jalen Johnson won't have to look far for motivation this season. Last year it was about securing the bag, this year it's about earning respect. And the Bears? They're not complaining. They know a fired up Johnson is a force to be reckoned with.